You probably know the mushroom dance from the Walt Disney film classic Fantasia. The use of perspective in this piece of animation was a milestone, and the man who drew it has often been called brilliant. People said, say, well, what gave you the inspiration for the mushroom dance? And I say, well, I went to the supermarket, and for two weeks I did nothing but study every movement of every mushroom in the vegetable department. He's Art Babbitt, master animator, whose sense of humor is an integral part of his everyday life and his art. He never takes himself too seriously and leaves it to others to sing his praises. Grim Natwick, who created Betty Boop, calls Babbitt a master of mimicry, a Galileo of timing and spacing, and an Einstein of coordinated techniques. Although not considered to be one of the nine old men of the Disney studio, Babbitt was there almost from the start. His list of credits includes The Three Little Pigs, Geppetto the Toymaker in Pinocchio, the development of Mickey Mouse's sidekick Goofy, and the beautiful Magic Wicked Queen in Snow White. Who now is the fairest one of all? Over the seven jeweled hills, beyond the seventh fall, in the cottage of the seven dwarves, dwells Snow White, fairest one of all. Babbitt has spent an amazing 58 of his 75 years in animation, but it was never his intent to do so. Born in 1907 to very poor parents in Omaha, Nebraska, Art dreamed of one day becoming a psychiatrist. At the age of 16, after his father died, Art headed for New York City. There, he quickly discovered it took money to get into medical school, and in order to support himself, he started doing illustrations for advertisers. At about that time, he heard about a new and dynamic art studio that had just opened up near Hollywood, Disney. He decided to head west. Even back in the 20s, 16 was a very young age to be working in a major studio. Either when they came to the studio or when I would go to sell my wares, uh, they would look at me and say, well, well, Sonny, what can I do for you? And here I was trying my darnest to, to look like a proper businessman, even trying to raise a mustache, which I practically had to paint on every two weeks or so. But Babbitt was with Disney long enough to outgrow his baby face. As a matter of fact, he went back to Disney after his stint in the Marine Corps. But in the 50s, the money for animation lay in advertising. Television was coming on strong, and sponsors quickly learned the value of an animated mascot. Uh, a champagne flight? Western Airlines is the only way to fly. Hey. The Western Airlines bird is famous, as are a number of Babbitt's commercial creations. The first old black and white Charlie the Tuna commercials were favorites. So were the Worcestershire sauce men who couldn't say Worcestershire, and John and Marcia selling Snowdrift. Snowdrift? Snowdrift? Marcia! John! John! Marcia! But after many years in the commercial money-making world, the voice of creativity in the body of Richard Williams started calling Babbitt back to feature films. Williams is an Englishman who was so impressed with Babbitt's artistry that he asked Art to come teach at his London studio. Art did, and when Williams decided to move part of his company to Southern California, Babbitt fell into step. But Williams didn't hire Babbitt as just another animator. He calls Art his legend in residence, and when Art comes into work, Williams shows him the proper respect. Oh. Hey! Oh. <laughs> well, this happens every day. <laughs> How do you do it? Bonjour. Yeah. <laughs> Babbitt is, of course, heavily involved in the Williams Studios' new project. When finished, it will really be something to be proud of. A fully animated feature film. No corners cut, just like the fine studios used to do in the good old days. The plot is still a secret, but Babbitt's part is that of the old king. Destruction, zigzag. My kingdom will come to destruction and death. Be calm, Serene Highness. You must catch your breath. What dawn of disaster. Why have you of death? I've had a dream. You'll notice we said the old king is Babbitt's part. There's a good reason for that. 
The definition of an animator is an actor down, with a pencil. Up, down, you can see why when he shows us how he created six, Goofy's walk. And what I did was to start with an up position at the beginning or the end of a step, down on the passing position, and then up again at the end. So you get this very strange walk. Art is happy to say that there are many very talented young people coming into the field of animation. He says these kids can really draw and he only hopes animators will stop redoing Jack and the Beanstalk and start working on what he feels is animation's potential and destiny. It never seems to occur to anybody but there's a whole world of literature and music that has never been touched. What would you like to see done? Well, I know I'll be accused of being esoteric. Is that a good word? But for one thing, I would like to do the second movement in the Shostakovich Fifth Symphony. I think it's music that would lend itself beautifully to, uh, for lack of a better word, caricature. It doesn't have to be so highbrow that the average audience can understand it. And it doesn't have to be so designy that no one will accept it. But it's time to step out and try something a little different, a little new. Naturally, by now, you probably think Art Babbitt likes to spend every waking moment drawing. On the contrary, remember, he never really wanted to do this. He's much happier spending his spare time building steps in his garden. By the way, if you're wondering if Art Babbitt and Michelle Babbitt are related, you're right. This is my dad. Man's a genius. He knows that. 